Hey guys, Peter here, and tonight I'm going to be making probably my quickest video showing you how to <coughs> disable system volume information. Now, if you looked at my previous video, um, it basically shows you how to clean up system volume information, which is just a file that is composed of restore points that takes up anywhere from 50 gigabytes to a couple hundred gigabytes of space. Um, I'll post a link for that in the description if you have not seen it. I recommend checking it out and basically today I'm just going to show you how to disable it so it doesn't keep on doing that now basically you have to go to the system window right here um, there's a couple different ways of accessing that the first one is if you just click on the start right click on the computer do properties you can also go to the computer and then just do properties or you can just go in here and then the search type in system now basically the same thing will apply to Windows 8 and Vista once you go to system you're going to see this screen right here it kind of gives you a quick rundown of the computer, you know, your processor, RAM, Windows, all of that. Now, if you go to System Protection, that's going to open up this thing right here, and it's going to give you all your hard drives. And this is basically what System Restore System Volume Information is. Now, if you want to turn it off, you would basically click on the disk uh, that has it on. Now, since I have three disks, I don't really need it on these two because these act mostly as storage, like I have my Steam games and, you know, some other stuff on these but Windows OS is on disk C. Now if you want to turn it off, pick whichever one you want to turn it off for, click configure and over here it's gonna basically give you the options. You can do turn off system protection, only restore previous versions of files or restore system settings in previous version of files. Now I don't recommend completely turning it off as you can see I do have it on but I only have like 3% of it on it's like that if something does go wrong I can still do a restore without you know having the hassle of completely wiping everything off my computer and then putting it back on uh, you can also go ahead and delete this so if you do delete you know that's basically gonna delete the system restore so this is another easy way of doing it but you know you can basically change uh, this percentage to anything you want you know this is basically max usage it's not saying it is going to use 57 mega gigabytes but never set it at 100 or even 80 I would say if you want system restore keep it at maybe 50 percent like that you can still you know have some space for the OS if you don't want system restore but you don't want to fully turn it off keep it at like 5 or 3 percent like I had it at so like that you still have it but basically that's what you do just hit apply and then you would just hit ok and that's how you do it so like that system restore doesn't take up all the space on your computer later on in the future thank you guys for watching and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and comment and i'll see you next time